All right. I want to change this to look like this. So my, what I basically would do, we'll multiply the 5 times the 3 and add the 2. So 5 times 3 is 15. 15, 15 plus 2 is 17. And I leave the 5 on top. Again, I went 5, 5 times 3, and then I take that answer and I add that. So I go 5 times the 3, 15, and then 15 plus 2 in a little loop. Now this one, I want to make this one look like this. So the, probably the best way is simply just to take 24 and divide by 10. Now, does 10 go into 24? Yeah. How many times? Two. Two, <coughs> two times 10 is 20. <coughs> 24 minus 20 is 4. My answer, I take this 4, I bring it up here, it's my remainder, it's out of tens. So it's 2 and 4 tenths. Now does 4 tenths reduce? Yes. So my answer is really 2 and, how many, what goes into 4 and 10? 2. 2 goes into 4 twice, 2 goes into 10, 5 times. Now, what's 5 times 2? 10. 10. 10 plus 2 is 12. Does 12 over 5 the same as 24 over 10? Okay. Let's look at this one. Divide set what's 17 by 5. What do you get? 3. What's your remainder? 2. See that? 17 divided by 5 is 3 with the remainder of 2. It will come more and more better and better with practice. Number 3. If I want to add these two integers, these two sorry, integers, fractions, do they have a common denominator? So all we basically do when they have a common denominator, simply add the tops. Leave the bottom. I just added the tops, leave the bottom. And what's 8 over 8? One. One. Again, all I did, it looks like this. All I did went 8 plus 6 over 8. That's all I did. 2 plus 6 is 8 over 8. Added the tops. Now here, can I just add the tops? No, because of the bottoms the same. Now, I want the bottoms to be the same. Could I make this 5 by looking at it into a 10? What do you multiply 5 by so it becomes 10? 2. So watch this. What's 2 over 2? No, 1. What's 1 times 8? Eight? What's 1 times 12? So if I multiply one-fifth by one, am I changing its number? Its value. No. I'm changing the number, but I'm not changing the value. So again, why did I choose two over two? Because I wanted both denominators to be the same. So we end up with something like this. Three-tenths minus, what's five-tenths two? Ten. And what's one-tenths two? So I had to change the second one so they have the same bottom. Now, does this look a lot like this one? Does that look a lot like this? Yes. Yeah. So basically, all we're going to do is go 3 minus 2, which is? One. And the 10 stays on the bottom. 1 tenth. So we have simplifying fractions, changing them back and forth. We have adding, subtracting fractions. Let's do some multiplying fractions. When we multiply fractions, we talked about just simply multiplying straight across. 
So 2 times 6 is 12. 3 times 8 is 24. And then we look at that and go, okay, what goes into both those? Well, let's, let's do 2. How many times does 2 go into 12? How many times does 2 go into 24? Can that be reduced? Well, I could keep going. Wait, how about 6? Does 6 go into both those? Six goes into, 6 goes into 6 once. 6 goes into 12 twice. That can't be reduced anymore. So I multiplied straight across and I started reducing. Now, could some of you went from straight here to here? Yes. But some of you need to take baby steps, like look for two, look for look for smaller numbers. It's okay. This one, that's a divide, not a plus. That's a divide, you guys. You can't really see it, can you? That's divide. Does that help? So what we do when we divide is we change divisions into multiply. So that'd be two fifths times what? Yes, we change it to a multiply, but we have to flip the second one. Again, to make it division, you change your division into multiply, but flip the second fraction. And then you multiply just like here, straight across. So 2 times 3 is 6. 5 times 4 is 20. Are we reduced? No. What goes into 6 and 20? 2. 2 goes into 6. 3. 2 goes into 20. That one is all we can do. Last two. This one. In order to multiply straight across, wait, the 3, does the 3 go to the 5 or the 8 or both? Both? Isn't 3, 3 over... 1. Can I change that 3 to 3 over 1? Yeah, I could put 1 under any number. So let's multiply across now. What's 5 times 3? 15. And 5 times 1? Does anything go into 8 and 15? And you can leave it like that. You, you could change this answer to look like that, but I'm going to leave it in that form. Okay, three fifths divided by six. Well, isn't six six over what? Isn't it six over one? So could I now rewrite this as three fifths times what? I could flip the six and make it one over six. Pretty simple. Multiply straight across, we got. 3, multiply straight across, we have 30. 3 going to both those? 1 time and 10 times. 